Ever pondered about the hidden truths of our world? What if what you know is just the tip of the iceberg? Welcome to the intriguing world of conspiracy theories, a realm where the ordinary becomes extraordinary, where the accepted is questioned, and where hidden truths are sought after. These theories, often dismissed as mere figments of overactive imaginations, have played a significant role in shaping our society's narrative, often challenging the status quo and offering alternative perspectives on events, phenomena, and even our history. Conspiracy theories, in essence, are attempts to explain the unexplainable, to make sense of the mysterious. They are born from the human instinct to question, to probe, and to seek answers. They introduce the possibility that there's more than meets the eye, that there are secrets and stories hidden beneath the surface of the world we think we know. They are not merely tales spun by a handful of skeptics. Instead, they represent a broader cultural phenomenon, reflecting the deep-seated anxieties, fears, and hopes of society. They often arise from a desire for justice, a yearning for truth, and sometimes a simple fascination with the unknown. Yet conspiracy theories are not without their controversies. They can be divisive and contentious, often challenging established beliefs and accepted truths. They can spark debate, incite curiosity, and sometimes even ignite fear. But regardless of the reactions they elicit, they undeniably add a layer of intrigue and mystery to our understanding of the world. So, are you ready to question what you know, to look beyond the obvious to delve into the depths of the unexplored? Are you prepared to entertain the possibility that the world might not be as it seems, that there could be truths hidden from view, waiting to be uncovered? Buckle up as we delve into the world of unspoken truths and concealed facts. Imagine a time when humans supposedly had no advanced technology, yet they built the pyramids. How? Our journey into the world of conspiracy theories takes us to the sands of ancient Egypt. The Pyramids of Giza, a marvel of architectural genius, stand as a testament to the ingenuity of ancient civilization. But, could these monumental structures have been built by human hands alone? Enter the theory of ancient aliens. It suggests that extraterrestrial beings played a key role in the construction of these enigmatic edifices. Advocates of this theory argue that the precise mathematical alignment of the pyramids, their astronomical significance, and the intricacy of their design are far beyond the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. Consider the Great Pyramid of Giza, the largest of the three. It's aligned to true north with an accuracy of 3 sixtieths of a degree. That's more precise than our modern-day Paris Observatory. And let's not forget, this was supposedly achieved without the compass, which hadn't been invented yet. Then there's the question of how these colossal stones, some weighing as much as 50 elephants, were transported and erected. Mainstream historians suggest ramps, sledges, and sheer manpower. But ancient alien theorists propose a more otherworldly explanation involving advanced technology, levitation techniques, or even alien guidance. Moreover, it's not just Egypt. Similar monumental structures across the world like the Stonehenge in England and the Moai statues of Easter Island also baffle historians and fuel the theory of extraterrestrial intervention. Of course, skeptics abound. They argue that these theories undermine human ingenuity and that there's enough evidence to suggest these feats were indeed humanly possible given enough time and labor. Did extraterrestrial beings really assist in building the pyramids, or is it a mere conjecture? The debate rages on and perhaps the truth, as they say, is still out there. A place where numerous ships and planes disappear without a trace. What secrets does the Bermuda Triangle hold? In the heart of the Atlantic Ocean, between Miami, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, lies a region that has been the subject of countless debates and conspiracy theories the infamous Bermuda Triangle. This area, spanning roughly 500,000 square miles, is reputed for its mysterious disappearances of ships and aircraft. Some conspiracy theorists propose that the Bermuda Triangle is a vortex leading to another dimension, a wormhole in the fabric of space-time. They argue that this explains the sudden and inexplicable disappearances. Imagine sailing your boat or flying your plane into a cloud, and then suddenly, you're not on Earth anymore. You're somewhere else, somewhere unknown. Others lean toward a more extraterrestrial explanation. They suggest that the Bermuda Triangle is a hotspot for alien activity, with UFOs using the area as a portal for entering and leaving our planet. They theorize that these advanced beings are responsible for the vanishings, perhaps abducting people for their own alien purposes. There are also those who believe in the existence of the lost city of Atlantis beneath the waves of the Bermuda Triangle. This ancient, technologically advanced civilization, 
according to theorists, could be using powerful energy crystals to cause these disappearances. Then there are the believers in the more earthly, yet still extraordinary, natural phenomena. They propose explanations, such as rogue waves, magnetic anomalies, or even pockets of explosive methane gas rising from the seafloor. And yet, despite these fascinating theories, scientists and skeptics argue that the Bermuda Triangle is no more dangerous than any other region of the ocean. They attribute the disappearances to human error, equipment failure, and the unpredictable nature of the sea and weather. So, what's the truth behind the Bermuda Triangle? Is it a portal to another dimension, a gathering place for extraterrestrials, the home of the lost city of Atlantis, or simply a misunderstood part of our world? The mystery continues to perplex us, feeding our imaginations and our quest for the unknown. Is the Bermuda Triangle a portal to another dimension, or is there a more rational explanation? The moon landing, a giant leap for mankind, or an elaborate hoax? This question has intrigued and divided millions since the Apollo 11 mission allegedly landed the first humans on the moon on July 20, 1969. On the one side we have the believers, those who affirm that NASA's Apollo missions, led by astronauts like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, did indeed land on the moon. They point to the wealth of evidence including thousands of photos and videos, moon rocks brought back to Earth, and the testimony of thousands of people who worked on the project. These believers argue that faking the moon landing would have been an even greater technological feat than actually landing on the moon. They remind us that the Soviet Union, America's Cold War adversary, tracked the Apollo missions and would have exposed a fake. They also point out that no credible whistleblower has ever emerged from the thousands of people involved in the project. On the other side, we have the skeptics, those who believe the moon landing was an elaborate hoax designed to win the space race against the Soviet Union. They point to anomalies in the photos and videos, like the American flag appearing to ripple in an environment with no air and no wind. They question why no stars are visible in the images, and they wonder about the seemingly perfect lighting of the astronauts when they were supposedly in shadow. These skeptics argue that the moon landing was a well-orchestrated deception, a masterpiece of Cold War propaganda. They suggest that the US government, desperate to claim victory in the space race, conspired with NASA and other organizations to dupe the world. So where does the truth lie? Is the moon landing one of humankind's greatest achievements? Or is it a deceitful tale spun by a superpower? This question continues to ignite debates, fuel documentaries and inspire countless internet threads. Did we really land on the moon or was it the greatest hoax of the 20th century? Until we return to the moon and settle this debate once and for all, the moon landing will remain a captivating blend of fact or fiction. We hope you're enjoying the journey so far, as we navigate through the labyrinth of conspiracy theories. If you're finding our content intriguing, don't forget to hit the like button. It's a small gesture but it helps us bring more such content to you. And what about you? Do you have theories of your own, or views on the ones we've discussed? We're eager to hear your thoughts. Share your views, ideas, and even your own theories in the comments section below. We're a community here, and every perspective adds a new dimension to the conversation. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel. Not only will you get notified about our latest videos, but you'll also become part of a community of curious minds just like yours. Now let's dive back into the world of conspiracy theories. Buckle up because the journey is about to get even more fascinating. A tragedy that shook the world. But was 9-11s an inside job? The controlled demolition theory of 9-11s is one of the most debated conspiracy theories of the 21st century. This hypothesis proposes that the Twin Towers and Building 7 of the World Trade Center were not brought down by plane impacts and subsequent fires, but by a well-planned controlled demolition. Proponents of this theory draw on several arguments. They point to the speed and symmetry of the building's collapse, arguing that it closely resembled a professional demolition. They also highlight the discovery of what they claim is residue of thermite, an incendiary used in controlled demolitions in the debris. But let's take a step back and consider the counter-arguments. Experts have extensively refuted these claims, explaining that the fires, fueled by jet fuel and office contents, weakened the building's steel structures, leading to their collapse. The supposed thermite residue, most likely remnants of the vast amounts of materials used in the construction of the buildings. Critics also raise logical questions about this theory. How could a demolition of this scale be prepared in secret in buildings full of people? 
How could the thousands of individuals required to orchestrate such a plot remain silent for over two decades? Remember, while it's human nature to question to seek answers, it's also crucial to approach these theories with a discerning mind. Weigh the evidence, consider the sources, and don't let sensationalism cloud judgment. Was it a terrorist attack or a grim plot hatched within our own borders? As we delve deeper into the world of conspiracy theories, we must remember that the truth is often more complicated and less sensational than it first appears. A secret group controlling the world's governments. Does the New World Order exist? In the labyrinth of conspiracy theories, few are as pervasive or as chilling as the New World Order. The term itself, New World Order, conjures up images of a shadowy cabal, dictating global events from behind a veil of secrecy. But where did this theory originate? It's thought to have emerged during the Cold War era. Paranoia was high, and the idea of a secret organization pulling the levers of power tapped into the fear of the unknown. Theorists suggested that the world's elite, from politicians to business moguls, were part of this clandestine group, their aim being to establish a totalitarian world government. Now let's delve into the evidence. Theorists often point to the symbolism in global iconography. The Great Seal of the United States, for instance, features an unfinished pyramid topped by the all-seeing eye of providence. Some interpret this as a nod to the Illuminati, a secret society from the 18th century, often linked with the New World Order. Then there's the Denver International Airport. Theorists argue that its unusual artwork, depicting apocalyptic scenes, is a hidden message from the New World Order. They suggest that the airport is not just a transportation hub, but also a headquarters for this secret society. But what about the world's leaders? Many high-profile figures from George H.W. Bush to Henry Kissinger have used the term New World Order in speeches, fueling speculation about their involvement. However, these instances are often explained as references to periods of change in global politics rather than any clandestine group. So, we're left with a question that echoes through the halls of conspiracy theory forums. Is there really a secret society pulling the strings of global governments, or is it just a myth? As with many such theories, definitive proof remains elusive. But one thing's for sure, the New World Order theory continues to captivate and intrigue, a testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown. A virus that brought the world to a standstill. But was COVID-19 a man-made disaster? Breathe in. And let's dive into the intriguing realm of conspiracy theories. Today, we're exploring a theory that's been hotly debated since the onset of the pandemic. Was COVID-19 a biological weapon? This theory posits that the virus was not a product of natural evolution, but rather a weapon engineered in a laboratory. Some proponents of this theory even suggest it was intentionally released to disrupt economies and societies worldwide. They argue that the virus's quick spread and severe impact on human health are indicators of its man-made origins. But what does the science say? Most scientists and health experts vehemently disagree with this theory. They argue that the genetic makeup of the virus shows clear signs of natural evolution. They also point out that the virus's spread and impact align with what we know about how pandemics occur and evolve. Moreover, they assert that creating a virus in a lab with such specific characteristics and effects would require a level of scientific knowledge and precision that's simply not possible with our current technology and understanding of virology. In the end, the consensus in the scientific community is clear. COVID-19 is a naturally occurring virus, not a biological weapon, but this hasn't stopped the theory from gaining traction among certain groups, fueled by misinformation and the human instinct to seek explanations during times of crisis. So, where does this leave us? COVID-19 has undeniably changed the world as we know it. It's exposed the vulnerabilities in our healthcare systems, economies, and societies. But was it a deliberate act of bio-warfare or a natural disaster that we were unprepared for? Was the pandemic a natural disaster or a man-made catastrophe? That's a question that continues to intrigue, divide, and captivate us. And like many conspiracy theories, it may never have a definitive answer. As we enter an era of unprecedented technological advancements, what does the future hold for conspiracy theories? In the realm of conspiracy theories, technology is a double-edged sword. On one hand, advancements in technology can provide conspiracy theorists with new tools to dig deeper into their theories, unearth hidden information, and disseminate their findings to a wider audience. On the other hand, technology can also be used to debunk these theories, providing concrete evidence to counteract baseless claims. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence is used to analyze historical data, 
cross-referencing it with current events to highlight patterns and anomalies. This could provide fertile ground for new conspiracy theories to take root. Drones and satellite imagery could allow theorists to explore inaccessible areas, potentially uncovering secrets that were previously out of reach. At the same time, technology is also the ultimate fact-checker. High-resolution imagery, advanced forensic techniques and data analytics could be used to debunk conspiracy theories, providing irrefutable evidence that counters the claims of theorists. For example, deep learning algorithms could analyze video footage to determine whether it's been manipulated, potentially debunking theories that rely on doctored evidence. But perhaps the most significant impact of technology on conspiracy theories lies in the realm of social media. Through platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, conspiracy theories can spread like wildfire, reaching millions of people in a matter of minutes. This could lead to an era where conspiracy theories are more prevalent than ever before. Yet this same technology also enables swift debunking and countering of misinformation. Fact-checking websites and social media platforms are increasingly employing algorithms to identify and flag misleading content, helping to curb the spread of conspiracy theories. However, as technology continues to evolve, so too will the nature of conspiracy theories. With advancements in virtual reality, augmented reality and deepfake technology we may see a future where conspiracy theories are not only spread through text and images, but through immersive, convincing experiences that blur the line between fact and fiction. In this rapidly evolving world the realm of conspiracy theories is bound to get even more intriguing. From ancient aliens to secret societies we've traversed an exciting path of hidden truths and unspoken realities. We kicked off our journey with the mystery of the pyramids, wondering if they were the work of ancient aliens or simply a testament to human ingenuity. We delved into the enigma of the Bermuda Triangle, a place where planes and ships are said to vanish without a trace. Was it supernatural phenomena or just natural forces at play? We then turned our attention to the intriguing question of fact versus fiction. We explored scenarios where seemingly outrageous conspiracy theories turned out to be true, reminding us that reality can often be stranger than fiction. We grappled with the shocking proposition of controlled demolitions, a theory that challenges the accepted narrative of certain historical events. We pondered on the idea of a new world order, questioning the possibility of a clandestine group pulling the strings from behind the curtain. We also delved into the chilling concept of biological weapons, a theory that questions the origin of certain diseases and pandemics. And finally, we ventured into the future of conspiracy theories, speculating on what new theories might emerge as technology and society continue to evolve. Each of these topics invites skepticism, curiosity and a desire for truth. They challenge us to question what we know and to remain open to the unexpected. We encourage you to share your own thoughts and theories, after all it's through dialogue and debate that we expand our understanding and get closer to the truth, but remember, it's not about proving others wrong, it's about enriching our collective knowledge. Remember the world is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled, keep questioning, keep exploring.